following program is classified G. It's suitable for all ages. We would like to remind our viewers that the views expressed in this program by our participating guests are solely viewpoints of them who take part and does not reflect the views and beliefs of the Verana Media Network. And welcome to Gen XYZ on this week and this is a program where we bring to you contemporary issues or topics based on the youth. Now today on the show we'll be talking about Christmas. Literally Christmas is just a few days away and I'm personally excited for this and the past few years Christmas was affected by the pandemic and so many other tragedies and I would say that the spirit of Christmas was a little bit lacking the past few years but this year I feel that it's going to be different as the country is back on again and the lockdowns are lifted but still we all have to make sure that we are safe. So Christmas is a period where we all get together with our families, spread some love and care, put up a Christmas tree or even sing some carols per se. So now to talk on the Christmas spirit we have two guests with me, Octavia Don Paul who is from the Don Bosco Youth Group at the Night Come the Church and also Bimesh Nana Singh from the St. Anne's Youth Society in Wattala and they will be also representing a choir as well and hopefully we'll be able to hear from you as well on the choir. And again, thank you again for joining me on the show and to share your experiences about Christmas. So to start off the discussion, what is Christmas to you? So Christmas is actually for us, it's about sharing, caring, um, forgetting and forgetting and all that. And well, apart from that, it's actually the birth of Christ, right? So it's a lot of celebration, a lot of family gatherings and all. It's a, it's a party month. In, like Christmas is party month, if you put it that way. Yeah. Mish, what's your thoughts on that? So Christmas is like everyone comes together and like it's all about partying and then we'll celebrate all, all the stuff and like so people come from abroad, abroad as well. So everyone's excited for this month and like and we're thankfully th this time it's a bit, a bit better than last year. So hopefully we can enjoy this month of a December of for sure. togetherness. Yes. So would you say that Christmas is all about just celebrations? Um, not really. So there's also the religious aspect of it as well. Mm. So that comes first, obviously, mm -hmm. the birth of Jesus Christ. But then, uh, yeah, so <laughs> basically, since we're teens and, you know, as in like we're young adults and we just love partying and <laughs> shine into it. But then, uh, yeah. obviously, we go for Mass and then we celebrate uh, our parties after Mass. So <laughs> that comes first, obviously. Yes. But then, yeah, that's basically how it goes in December. I so, Octavia, what's the best part for you about Christmas? Mm, best part about Christmas would be family time. Mm -hmm. Like, getting together with family, you know, if, in my perspective, my dad came down this year. Okay, like all this time, you know, lockdown restrictions of last year. The first time that actually we got to sit at a family dinner, like on like a few days ago. So like, I'm really excited for Christmas in like a few days. Like. I'm thrilled to see my dad at the dinner table and like have like a proper meal together. So, so. did you miss your dad the past few Christmases? Uh, last year, definitely, because he couldn't come down because of the COVID restrictions and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, sure. Bimish, what's your favourite part of Christmas? <laughs> so, the, it's the same because she misses the dad, but then we miss our friends and family and they always, they come down during the month of December, everyone takes vacation, take, takes leave and they come down and that's where we meet everyone and we have fun and we share stories that we missed and it's, it's something really special and like uh, we always look forward to it. So same as what you said, last year we missed that definitely and hopefully this year won't be the same. <laughs> so do you always look for December to come and meet your friends and family? Yes, definitely, yes, definitely. without a doubt. <laughs> without a doubt, because everyone has parties and like it's not at one place, so everyone has parties as like every day there's a party at some other place. So we obviously are looking forward, forward to it. So. so do you think that you are missing that togetherness other than December? Is it just December that you all get together like this? Uh, so uh, mainly the reason for that is people are abroad. 
So, mm-hmm. so they normally come down during December and during so the holiday during season, the holiday yeah. season. Yeah, that's when yeah. people want to take leave and like spend time with their family. So they try to merge the two and they come down during December. So uh, we miss them. So also we miss them for a, for a year and we wait for them for a year. So definitely, uh, I think as you said, December is the month for to get us and that family time. Have you already put up your Christmas trees by now? <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and also another question: When did you all stop believing in Santa? <laughs> I think I was twelve. I was twelve. But <laughs> Santa is not real. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can relate to that. <laughs> no, I was just joking. So yeah, I think I was around ten years maybe when I uh, realized that, and then my parents also told me, obviously, yeah. This real. this it's theory about Santa, I wanted to ask you. Do you think it's practical to introduce this to children? Because personally, I was heartbroken when I got to know that this is not real. So, do you think it's practical? I feel that they are really sin. <laughs> But it's really cute when children actually li- write true. letters to the North Pole. Like I did that. <laughs> like I legit wrote letters to the North Pole, and then like. I think when I was 12 I found like a bunch of letters that my mom had hidden under the cupboard and I was like mom I didn't this go to santa and then she was like no and that's what she told me the actual story so yeah I think she was on the bad the naughty list also for some time and that was the fun part of it so yeah santa is basically i think a role model for children uh, during december so to teach fall. them sharing yes You yes. can look at it from that perspective. Yeah, Teach them sharing and you know giving. giving. Of course, and the naughty list is somewhere we did not want to end up those yeah. days. So talk, let's talk about a little bit more about the traditions of Christmas. What do you do at home normally, the both of y'all? So first thing is we go for midnight mass, definitely. Yes. So that's how Christmas starts, and then uh, we uh, end up having breakfast at some relative's pla- place. So that's early morning breakfast around two, three in the morning. And then so we come back home, and then we have a small nap because after mass and uh, everything. And then we again wake up in the morning, and then uh, we have a family time. So we sit at the table, and then we uh, exchange gifts, and then wish wish each other and everything. And then so that's how basically basically the day goes. So and obviously in the afternoon, and then in the evening it's partying. <laughs> yeah. So that's how it starts. So that's basically it. I think uh, yeah. she would. I Let's think uh, yeah so baking cookies and all that comes into that category right like uh, on christmas day exactly everything that he said um but yeah the night ends at around 4 o'clock in the morning <laughs> <laughs> again when you all mention about meeting together with family and friends do you all invite everybody or is it just per se the catholic friends or the catholic students no no no, no, no chance it is not cause yes. this Uh, this celebration brings all ethnicities together so i think everyone loves this all ethnicities love this so they look forward to it look forward to it as we do so definitely we invite anyone anyone everyone is welcome for christmas so yeah. that's how it goes so how did you all spend last year's christmas and how was it different for you all so like i said Uh, my dad was abroad right so he couldn't come down because of the covid restrictions so it was a dull christmas if i put it that way it was not all happy not not as great as it usually is so i'm looking forward to an amazing christmas this year but last year's christmas was not as great yeah it was pretty dull so you're hoping yeah. for a better christmas this yeah, year definitely, definitely. definitely. It's just that, but the situation is not that great yet. But so, yes. but so we'll follow the guidelines and the rules imposed by the government, and then yeah. uh, we'll have a better time this year than last year, hopefully. Of course, was yeah. it the same for you, Bimesh, last year? Oh uh, yeah. So all of my cousins, most of them are abroad, so they couldn't come down, and then we just did. We wish them on video calls. That was very depressing, uh, even though we show that we were happy because they went here in presence. So definitely, they are, they are down this time. So. We are hoping to have a small, a nice gathering this time, and then enjoy the time during Christmas for sure. That's great. I think we'll have to end our segment from there. I think we got an idea about what Christmas spirit is all about and what you guys are doing this year as well. So with that, we'll go into a short commercial break and also listen to a piece of carols sung by the Essential Choir. Joy to the world. Just sing, just sing. 
Welcome back to Gen XYZ and we finished our first segment talking about Christmas and the spirit of Christmas and we are in discussion with Octavia Don Paul and Bhimesh Rana Singha as well who are engaged in youth societies in churches and we are currently at the St. Mary's Church in Nayakanda as well which is a dear place personally to me as well. Octavia, you are also a teacher yeah. and you work with a lot of students. Uh, and what do you think about the mindsets of children these days compared to the mindset that we used to have about Christmas? Of course, Christmas was really magical to us and it yeah. was something really special. Do you think Christmas is still the same to the younger generation now? Well, unfortunately not. Okay, it's completely different because now kids actually know that Santa doesn't exist. Like, that's the sad part about it all. Like, they, when, when we were growing up, we had that magical, like, you know, keeping gifts under the tree. My dad used to leave midnight mass at around, like, 11-ish uh, in the night. And, like, he used to go and, like, open a door, window, keep it of open. Course. And create that sense of mystery, create that sense of, you know, Santa being there, even though he was not existent. He created that vibe for us. But nowadays, I don't know why, but because children tell me, teacher, Santa is a myth and like teacher Santa doesn't exist and they tell me like straight off and I'm like okay so where is their childhood like what, 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 where is that magical Christmas that they actually exactly. ought to have kind of a thing so yeah Christmas as we had when we were uh, small they don't unfortunately actually. why do you think that this has happened this way is there a particular reason I think it's the modern mindset I can blame it on technology, I can blame it on, I don't know, uh, yeah, I think technology, the research that they do, because we didn't have that exposure to, like, actually Google, is Santa real? Or, like, you know, <laughs> where is the North Pole? <laughs> Does it exist? You know, stuff like that. We, did, we were not exposed to that kind of, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, atmosphere, yeah? So, but they are. Right. They do their research and then they come and tell me, Teacher Santa is a myth. North Pole doesn't exist. My letters didn't get sent. You know, stuff like that. So it's actually, it's sad. It's sad. They do don't you have, think uh, yeah. children nowadays look forward to Christmas? They do, mm -hmm. but for the wrong reasons. It's for the gifts, not for <laughs> celebrate, not for like, you know, the birth of Christ and not the entire aspect of what we used to, you know, rejoice and celebrate. Uh, but uh, gifts are their main perspective. Of but course. we also had gifts as our main perspective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can't blame them. Yeah, we can't blame them. We can't. <laughs> but yeah. Another reason that I feel was now for the past few years, Sri Lanka and the whole world, I would say, was affected by the pandemic and so many other tragic incidents. And I feel that was also affected, put into their mindsets as well. And it all started off, I think, in 2019 when the tragic incident happened. When churches were bombed on Easter Sunday that also we were celebrating the resurrection of Christ and people were going to church to pray and have a sense of togetherness uh, do you think that had to this played a part, role 
in changing the mindsets of this younger generation? Uh, uh, no, I don't think that affected the younger generation because uh, our faith is intact and like so people, uh, the younger generation, they uh, as in even us, not just the younger generation, us and like uh, our elders. So uh, they were quite okay with it, like they moved on and they realized that uh, this is not a thing to, you know, uh, uh, keep coming coming into and then they just moved on and then like, so in terms of Christmas, so I definitely feel that the Christmas spirit wasn't lost, mm -hmm. definitely. But then, uh, yeah, people are sad, and those are those are sad times. But then, I just feel that uh, people have moved 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 on from it, and uh, yes. they're definitely uh, living their normal lives now. Okay, now both of you all being in youth societies, connected to the church, have you all seen a difference from the past few years and the past two years? Is there a comparison, like the people engaging with church activities, coming to church, celebrating Christmas per se? Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely, because. Both of us are in youth societies, and we yes. we've experienced experienced it firsthand. So uh, this time we got went to church. We had meetings, and then we started building the uh, crib, and then we started uh, organizing carol services, and then planning how the decorations should be done. And so it's really interesting because we are very involved involved with church, and like we love this stuff, and we missed it last year. And so this year we are definitely really happy and uh, really motivated also to put up like a superb crib so that everyone can see our work and and we just want to and because people also expect that this time because last time we couldn't do anything at all so, of so and we had masses online so mm -hmm. we couldn't come to church and do anything so there were so many restrictions as in like we couldn't even sing in the choir right so this time we got the opportunity to do something like that so it's a big deal. Yes. Yeah. Again, the world was again affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Do you think that had to play a part also in this Christmas spirit? Of course, there were restrictions and everything. Now, for the past two years now, people are used to this so-called new normal. Mm -hmm. And do you think the response will be the same as before? Well, definitely not, because I think people as you said, are used as like they call it the new normal now. Mm -hmm. And like, so people are engaging now and like, so this time Christmas would be way different than last year, I, I, I suppose. Cause, uh, cause there, we can see when we go to Colombo, we go, we go all over the country, you can see the whole street, all the streets are decorated and lights are put up and there are amazing small, small shows and carols being played and we can hear it and on the radio. And so it, it's, it's a magical time of the year. And like, I think uh, people will enjoy Christmas this time and hopefully they'll enjoy Christmas this time. So I hope the pandemic won't affect it this time because uh, you, you, you never know what, what will happen. Yeah. So we always have to be careful and uh, you know, restrict ourselves uh, of doing the unnecessary things and just you know, uh, carry on with our normal lives and enjoy Christmas how, how it should be. Again, both of y'all are singing for the choir ascension as well. Yeah. How has that affected your work with the choir? So last year we did not have anything. We did not get a single opportunity to sing at any hotel, any um, event, nothing whatsoever. But this time uh, we actually have quite a few and uh, we got like different opportunities. We went caroling on a double-decker bus and things like that. It was really fun. We had lots of fun. Like we were dancing on the bus and like it was like we went all, uh, all over Colombo. And we went to Nigambo as well, and uh, yeah, it was it, it, it's a nice time now compared to last year for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, and it's quite a tight schedule also this time with the choir, and like everyday gigs, and we perform and we enjoy it also because it's yeah. Christmas and we missed it last year, and so this year when performing for Christmas, we just we're trying to make the most of it. Most of it. Yeah. Take when it. touring around Colombo, yeah. what's the difference that you notice? Do you think Colombo was still alive uh, compared to the previous years? Definitely, they, yes. they, were, they were like, main reason for that is all the decorations are put up and lights are put up around mm -hmm. Colombo. So now people are coming to Colombo to witness that because yeah. the kids, I think their kids have not witnessed it properly. So mm -hmm. they, they need to witness it and know what Christmas really is. I mean, if so, you take the pandemic babies, they actually <laughs> have no idea for the first time they're seeing lights, yeah, right? For the last year, they didn't get to see anything. So it's like, oh, Christmas, it's a new thing for <laughs> them, right? So. Uh, yeah, it, it's uh, you like if you went, we went through a uh, golf face. Oh my gosh, it was packed with people, and it was it was lovely. Like children were like waving, they were enjoying themselves. So it was nice. It was really nice. Yeah. yeah. 
So Octavia, how is your engage with, uh, engagement with your students right now? Have you uh, come up around with, with stories like children come and tell you about what they do with their families? Yeah, I am actually yet to hear a lot of stories after their December holidays. Uh, but like from what I've experienced before, they definitely come and tell me all sorts of things that they do. But uh, because of last year, uh, they've, I've actually not got much stories. All I hear is they study at home because of the fact that it was the pandemic, right? So there, a lot of parents are actually scared to send their children, even on vacations, even on fa family gatherings. A lot of kids are at home, but uh, I'm actually looking forward to hearing something this year because it, it, it is like the new normal Christmas. Let's see how it goes, yeah. Do you think it will be different this time? <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely, without a doubt. How is December going so far for the both of you all? And do you think this December would be different? And how do you all plan to celebrate this year's December? <laughs> So as, as we said, we are seeing for the choir ascension and so we are so packed this time and we, give, we have gigs every single day. So it's a very tight schedule but then we obviously have to make time for our family and that's what Christmas is for us. So definitely this time as, we, as I said before, we, all our friends and family will come together and then we'll obviously go for mass first <laughs> and then you know have a small you know sing song for sure sing carols and then we'll go into the Sinhalese bail also at the late in the night but then we start off with carols and then have you know exchange gifts and all, all, of, all of those things so I think December uh, Christmas especially would be I hope it would be memorable this time then so since last year we didn't celebrate anything at all so, yeah. All right. So now being in this youth society, what can you tell our audience that they can look forward to from y'all? Are there any special activities that y'all have planned out for this month? Um, yeah. Activities as such, not big ones, but for starters, last year we did not sing for Christmas Mass, right? It, it was all online and like, it was sad and depressing. We we're listening to Mass from home. But this year we get to sing in church as uh, the Don Bosco Youth Choir. So that's something. And um, apart from that, we've not actually had activities, but um, I think the youth society, the Sinhalese Youth Society is actually making the crib. So little, little things like that, they, like different societies in churches, they actually get together and do different activities of sorts, yeah. All right then, so with that, I think we'll have to end our second segment as well. Let's go into a short commercial break. And let's go enjoy another carol from the choir ascension. The fireplace is burning bright, shining all on me. I see the presents underneath the good old Christmas tree. And I'll wait all night till Santa comes to wake me from my dreams. Oh, why? Cause that's Christmas to me. I see the children play outside like angels in the snow Where mom and daddy share a kiss under the mistletoe I cherish all these simple things wherever we may be Oh why, cause that's Christmas to me I've got this Christmas song in my heart I've got the candles glowing in the dark I'm staring on the stockings by the Christmas tree Oh why, cause that's Christmas to me Oh why, cause that's Christmas to me Stone, but I'ma be on the mistletoe with you 
Shout it with you, with you. Shout it with you, with you. Until the mistletoe. With you. Shout it with you, with you. Shout it with you, with you. Until the mistletoe. Welcome back to Gen XYZ and we are in discussion with Octavia Don Paul and Bimesh Rana Singha and in the first two segments I think we spoke about Christmas and the spirit and we are also at the St. Mary's Church in Naikakhanda which gives us that atmosphere and that feel as well again. And I think we left off with, you know, students having to tell their stories about Christmas this year and how you all plan to celebrate Christmas as well this year. What do you think about the spirit? Now you said the spirit is not very much as we used to have with the younger generation. We as youth, also as adults with schools, what do you think that we can do in order to uplift the spirit of Christmas? Uh, youth, I think it would be caroling. Caroling, door to door caroling. We used to do that those days, but we've not done it this year. But then uh, going door to door, singing carols. It's nice when people actually open the door and start li listening and watching, videoing, and like, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice uh, experience. We've not done it for some time, but that's something that we can actually do. Uh, what about adults? Yeah. So, yeah, adults could actually educate their children about what Christmas is and what uh, Christmas meant to them. And then, uh, you know, tell them about the Christmas spirit and how the exchanging of gifts. And then they could actually take the children and go and meet their relatives who they've never met. And then go to places where they've never been to. Like, maybe go on a vacation as well. And then take their kids and show them what Christmas means. Go take them to Colombo. They could take them to Gambo and show how, they, how the people enjoy Christmas and the Christmas lights and everything. So the, then the kids would know what, actually, what Christmas actually means to them. So, so do you think it's a lack of awareness that we have right now amongst the younger generation? Um, you could say that as well because uh, people are very, it's, it, people are very busy now and like they don't have time for their children as well, adults mainly. So uh, lack of awareness as well as technology uh, being uh, implemented and uh, people, so the kids are very much into it now. So they don't, uh, we used to always go out and play and that's, that's what we do, but kids nowadays, they rarely go out and play. But the pandemic actually affected that as well. But then with technology coming in, uh, the kids, uh, you know, they're, just, they're on their phones and the, the whole time. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you think Christmas is just limited to Christians or Catholics? Uh, no, no, not a chance actually. We actually celebrate it with absolutely anyone. It's, it's a time for everyone to get together under a Christmas tree. Actually, I, my friends that are not in Catholics actually put up Christmas trees and they actually get gifts from Santa Claus, you know? <laughs> Those tiny principles, they actually still do. So it's, it's not just, you know, Christians and Catholics. It's, it's everyone. It's a celebration period for everyone. And I actually believe that those not, like all the non-Catholics out there would actually agree with me when I say it's, it's a cause for celebration for them as well. Not maybe on the birth of Christ perspective, but uh, it's a time for family gatherings from their perspective, from their point of view then. Now yeah. this Christmas, what's the main thing that you both are looking forward to? <laughs> I would like to say parting, but that, that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's not the case. So this time uh, mainly what I'm looking forward to is going for midnight mass and then singing actually, singing for that mass because uh, that's how I actually joined the youth society okay. in my church, uh, singing because singing bring, brings a lot of people together and, and also singing is twice praising is what uh, the Catholics, we as Catholics say. So definitely that's what I'm looking forward to now but then at the, after mass so I would actually uh, party also <laughs> so looking forward to that as well and meeting people also so meeting all our relatives and then uh, enjoying having a great time that's what we all look forward to I guess. Okay, what do you look forward to this year's Christmas? Uh, I think it's family, family. I, I don't, I'm 
I'm looking forward to a beautiful family gathering with everyone gathered there. Like with everyone that has come down to Sri Lanka, I want everyone to be present and let's all open gifts and let's all eat together. Let's sing till four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. I don't really care about <laughs> what time that goes on till, but I just want it to keep going because it's, it's, it's the first time that we actually getting to see everyone together after two years. Yeah, almost two, one and a half, two years. Yeah. What's the best thing that had happened to y'all once y'all joined the Youth Society and what's the best thing that y'all were able to do to the society being in this uh, youth association? Uh, so the reason I joined the society, as I said before, the reason I joined the society, how I joined the society is because I actually just went and started singing with the choir. And so the choir was part of the youth society. And then I saw people working and they were so uh, amazing, they were so active and they were working and they were so passionate and they, uh, so they were doing so much to church and so I, I actually really felt so happy of the service they provide in church and I thought why not me as, as they do it. So definitely then I uh, contacted the president and I said I would like to join the society and then he said why not, why not come, come and join the society and then so th that's the main reason to join the youth society and so that's what they do they help uh, help the poor people also when possible and then when all church events they decorate the church and then they organize the chariots for the processions and all of, all of that so the youth is very active in church and i think uh, that's what you should as like every church should have a youth and they should be active and they should provide and because you learn a lot of things when you're in a society like that because it's all young young adults and uh, different people have different views and uh, they exchange different ideas and like you and you know as like you meet different people and like you get into society so as like you know what the society is like because it's not the same person people, yeah. Yeah. They're different people yes. so that's both of y'all are in two different societies so yes. Aktiva what has your Don Bosco society planned out for this year uh, well like let me answer your previous question like the one thing that actually the m most memorable thing that we've done as a society is actually uh, I remember some time back we actually went to these elders home okay and we uh, sang we gave rations, all of us contributed and we gave rations but apart from the rations we did this sing-song session with them oh my gosh Shanali I can't tell you how beautiful it was because they started like uh, singing and dancing and they were like you know like all out there they, they were enjoying they were having the time of their life and that was like the best uh, part about it all right like not they don't get to do that like they don't have um, Pay, like their children do come and visit them and things like that but our youth society like all of us like got together and like we went there sang with them played the guitar too and they were like elated they were they were so happy that, that was like the best memory I think being a part of the um, Don Bosco youth group that's like one of the best things that I've done of yeah. course for now, this year's Christmas what have you planned like I said uh, before we've not actually had activities as such this year but apart from the fact that we are singing for 25th uh, um, morning mass which is the English mass but apart from that nothing planned as such for this year but uh, yeah that's about it on my end. Now Christmas is just a few days away yeah. and the new year is also coming up. Yeah. Do you happen to plan anything for that? I'm actually looking forward to January <laughs> okay <laughs> because this December has been absolutely packed. I just can't wait to go, actually go out in Jan because I don't know December. I I we I don't know. Both of us we like we couldn't lift our heads. Like we are so packed with gigs almost every day, and uh, so it's really tough. But uh, Jan is going to be amazing. That's for sure because we're going to go out somewhere. And, like you know, uh, we're going to have a time of our lives in Jan for sure. What advice can you give to our audience or the youth who's watching this in order to a way that they can celebrate Christmas this year? So this year Christmas, since the situation is better than last year, I would say always be vigilant of the, of the environment you're in. But then 
you know, have, have a small gathering, get your friends over and then enjoy, enjoy time, exchange gifts if possible and then, you know, have a normal time and then definitely go, go to church and uh, celebrate Mass and then wish each other and then, uh, yeah, just enjoy your time. That's, the best, that's basically Christmas for everyone, I guess. Yeah, but be safe. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely because, be safe. Uh, with, you know, the things going on, it's, it's not always uh, good news that we hear out there, right? So. No matter what you do, have a sensible, safe Christmas, if I put it that way. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. That's All about. right, again, with that, I think we'll have to end the show. And again, thank you very much for joining with us again thank on the you. show and sharing else's. your experiences as well about the Christmas, about your festive season and about sharing love and care. Thank you very much and I wish you all have a very Merry Christmas as well. Wish you wish very safe. <laughs> and that was our episode on Gen XYZ this week. Join us again next week with another episode where we will be bringing to you contemporary issues or topics focused on the youth. Just in case you couldn't watch us online, you can always re-watch on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash English. Until then, stay safe and have a good night. I'm Suzanne Shanari and Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero Ando y Felicidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año y felicidad Feliz Navidad